Seed of Life is an epic adventure game that features a planet called Lumia that basically has one of the survivors, Korra, trying to go to the Seed of Life and basically activate the Seed of Life. This world is visually great, visually impressive, visually engaging. But good visuals can't mask the weakness of the main story of Seed of Life. And while an alien invasion has taken over this planet, it definitely did not feel as if the world was decaying. Because on one end you have a beautiful visual world that depicts Lumia in the aftermath. But on the other hand, it doesn't show much of the decay, it doesn't show medieval ruins. And that's where Seed of Life also lacks this great contrast of sci-fi and medieval elements. That's what I feel in my opinion. In terms of gameplay mechanics, it's very simple. You basically have to extract Lumium in order for you to navigate around the world. And that Lumium helps you with your energy. You also have to collect petals. You also have to collect more and more of this Lumium so that you can extract, so that you can unlock stories from landmarks or you can get personal narration from the robot no, who acts as your advisor for most of the time. The other thing is you also have to navigate canyons, you have to navigate caves, you have to navigate all sorts of areas. And definitely this game feels, on the exploration part, a little empty-handed. You can explore interesting areas of the world, but there isn't much to interact with. You can, for example, unlock pedals by going around canyons and then clicking E to interact which then removes the shield force which then means you can walk around from one e end of the area to the other but it doesn't provide enough interesting content and yes you collect these pedals you go to these pedestals and you unlock new abilities that's pretty much what the gameplay is but it doesn't involve enough deep gameplay mechanics there isn't for example skeletons on the for example, there isn't skeletons on the uh, fallen, decayed ruins of Lumia. There's, there's none of that. There's no stories of, or illustrations or how Korra explains how the world ended. There is none of that. And how does Korra know all of this? Yes, the story does explain in some certain parts, but it doesn't give enough justification. It doesn't give enough validation. And what I feel this, this game needs, in my opinion, is that it needs more content, more story writing, because the story follows a K-I-S-S -S formula. Keep it simple, stupid. And I definitely think it definitely achieves that. It definitely keeps the world alive, it keeps the world interesting, it keeps the world immersive, and it definitely doesn't make you confused. You know what you have to do, basically, at the end of the day. You have to activate the Seed of Life and you play as Korra doing that. And the introduction does introduce it to a degree. But it doesn't go deeper, it doesn't explore much. And that's what this game needs in my opinion. And I definitely think Seed of Life could have done much better in this department. Am I faulting the writers for not keeping it complex enough? No, I'm not faulting them for that. I am actually, I'm actually applauding them. Because most sci-fi games, they require a world which is complex and you can't understand half the things. There's so many factions here and there. You don't know anything. So Seed of Life keeping this game very simple is absolutely brilliant. And I applaud them for that. And I applaud the writers for keeping the world simplistic. Because some games, they don't need so much complexity. But in my opinion, this game needed a little bit deeper. A little bit more deeper storytelling. A little bit more powerful connections. Because I wasn't relating to uh, Korra as much as I should have. Maybe in the latter stages of the game, I felt more of a connection. And I wanted Korra to tell me more about her story. This game was doing more telling than showing. And for a game like this, it needs more powerful storytelling. And this is where I think it could do much better in that department. And I definitely think Seed of Life, more interesting gameplay mechanics, more interesting story mechanics. And this could be done through DLC through content through uh, a new Seed of Life 2. I definitely think that this game has more potential than anything else. And the game's soundtrack, ambience, 
and the environment all works together. It does a really fantastic job of this. And I think Seed of Life is a great game, but it has weaknesses. And good graphics can't hide the main story. It can't hide its it can't hide the weakness of it. So in my opinion, it definitely needs more work. And I think Seed of Life is definitely for those gamers that love to relax, that love to relax, that love to do things by themselves. And this game doesn't require, doesn't need so much of a, uh, you know, like eating your head out, right? What this game definitely does need, however, is that in the puzzle department, it didn't feel fun or complex to solve at the same time. What I mean is, the puzzle should have been easy to solve, but hard to figure out. A good balance would have been nice to figure out. And I definitely think that in this game, you, you aren't exploring castles, you aren't exploring, you're just exploring nature. And I think it could have been much stronger at that department. So, Seed of Life is a fun, family, friendly game. You know, it has good voice acting and it has a good story, but they're very, very serviceable. You know, it, it does sacrifice a lot of story in contrast to the visuals and environment. You know, I've said, I've pretty much repeated what I've said, but I'll say it again. It needs more content, better voice acting in some departments, and it does need more story content. And given with more updates, more patches, more new DLC, I think this game could definitely be worth it. And you know, I think it's a great game. It's definitely worth trying out, and I would definitely try it. So, don't forget to leave a like, share, comment, and subscribe. And I definitely want more content for this game. Thank you so much to the developers and uh, for allowing them at Keymailer to give me a key. And this is just my honest impressions of what I think Seed of Life is. Thank you.